Thanks, Mike, and uh, welcome everyone. It's it's nice to have this room being used again. Uh, it's probably used for storage um, a few weeks ago, and it's good to see uh, our friends in the media as well. Some of you we haven't seen in nine months, so we appreciate you coming down here. Uh, the lockout is uh, is is over. Or it's tracking toward being formally over, and we we're very pleased with that. Um, as an organization. Um, we're really looking forward to being back on the ice. Uh, we really appreciate the the patience of our fans, and and some of sometimes in many ways fans' patience can be tested uh, to the limits and and sometimes broken. and And we hope that that hasn't happened here in Buffalo. Um, the The relationship we have with our fans is 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 the most important thing in our business. Uh, and I, I probably would speak for the players saying the same thing. So. Certainly, uh, the fans are entitled to an apology from everyone involved in this, and, and uh, on behalf of the Pagulas and the Sabers, we we do apologize that the fans have to go through this. And and the thing that I personally, and and I speak for myself, and and probably for for most people, the thing I'm most excited about is that this uh, potentially will be a 10-year uh, collective bargaining agreement. We don't have to go through this stuff for a long time, and and. Uh, uh, hopefully it won't be the rest of my career, but um, certainly not, not for the foreseeable future. And, and most importantly, the fans don't have to go through this um, crap uh, for the next 10 years. So we really appreciate the fans' patience. Um, we're back in business. We're looking forward to it. We haven't played hockey in nine months. And uh, that in and of itself is way too long. Hockey means so much to this area, to this region, to our people, to our fans, to our players to Terry and Kim Pagula, um, it's exciting to have it back. Uh, New York has over 50,000 kids and young adults that play hockey, which is one of the highest concentrations of <coughs> hockey in the country, and, and most of that is, is in western New York. So what it means to this region uh, is probably more, it's more so than, than most other places uh, in North America. So we're very pleased to be back, and, and uh, we're going to do whatever we can to get back on track to the mission that Terry has laid out for us, and that's to win the Stanley Cup. So those are my introductory remarks, and, and I'll turn it over to Darcy. No, I would, uh, uh, first of all, it's good to see you. I, Mike, you probably never thought you'd hear me say something like that. <laughs> but it is. It is. Um, it, it's exciting to be back, and um, I, I would just uh, say, uh, along with what Ted said, the fans in this community have been outstanding uh, when we bump into them. Uh, I feel a lot better about people that work in and around the game, not ne necessarily directly working for our organization, but whether it's the, uh, the local pubs, whether it's uh, people that uh, do uh, the difficult work of uh, cleaning or whatever it is, uh, if this allows them to get back to work and um, you know, make a living and help themselves and their families. I think that's that's a big deal. So it's a it's a good day. We want to open up the questions. Mark's got a microphone. We've got Chris on over here. We'll grab those because next, please. Ted, can you give us the rundown and where we stand right now on timing for things like the schedule camp? I know you're going to New York for the ratification meeting. Where is all that at this moment? Um, tomorrow I'll be in uh, in New York. Darcy's going to stay behind. Um, because his time at this point is probably a lot more valuable than mine. Um, in terms of the ratification, the anticipation is that we'll, we'll be presented with something at the board meeting to, to vote on. Um, I don't have an agenda yet, so I can't share any of the details to the extent that I'd be able to anyway. In terms of the schedule, uh, we're still waiting on a draft of that. Um, indications that I have right now are that um, I think originally our first game, if we had just picked up the schedule cold right now, would have been Saturday the 19th. Um, you know, I, everything is a moving target, but as of right now, it looks like that might not be the first home game for us. It may be the following day, the Sunday. Um, but again, it's a uh, caveat emptor at this point because I don't have anything firm, but I, I would like that information in the fans' hands to the extent that uh, they need to make plans. I want to get 
the schedule in my hands just like every other team does as well because I need we need to get tickets distributed we need to get some tickets sold uh, and we want to make life easier for our fans that are eager to get down here and make plans to get down here and to, um, to make dinner reservations and other things like that that, that fans do on a, on a game night but as of right now it looks like the first game home game will be uh, Sunday the 20th Uh, the training camp, I think, is uh, it looks like some either Saturday, Sunday, or Monday right now, Mike, but that's uh, the best we can do. 